Factorize a to the power of 5 plus a to the power of 4 plus 1. How shall I do it? You see, there's nothing we can do. But if we want to factorize this one, I have a good trick. It is not easy to see. What we can do is to add an a to the power of 3 here. Because you've added it, so you have to subtract it again. And they are equal. And I'm going to tell you that this part can be factorized. This part as well. It is just, we can take out an a to the power of 3. In the bracket, it is a squared plus a plus 1. Here it can also be factorized. It is what? 1 minus a times 1 squared is 1 plus a, then plus a squared. Now you can clearly see that these two sections are equal, although they are not in the same order. So it is a squared plus a plus 1, this one can be taken out, times a cubed minus a plus 1. And this is our answer, because none of these two parts can be factorized further. For this one, the delta is smaller than 0. b squared minus 4ac, 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1, that's negative 3. So one and zero, obviously. And for this one, if we let this one equal to zero, because here we have one, and the coefficient here is as here is one as well. All rational roots have the form positive or negative one. You can find out that one cubed minus one plus one does not equal to zero. Negative 1 cubed minus negative 1 plus 1 is also not 0. So that means this one does not have any rational roots. However, usually we'll factorize the terms into product of polynomials with rational coefficient. So that implies we factorize the terms in the field of rational numbers. So we're finished. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up, give this video a like, subscribe to me for more wonderful questions. We'll see you next time, bye bye!